to the events leading to the defendant's arrest? Yes, ma'am. When I arrived on the scene, Mr. Cho showed me upstairs. At which time I looked through the door and I saw the victim's body. I ascertained the facts and issued an all-points bulletin for the defendant. And did you request that the defendant be brought to the scene for questioning? Yes, ma'am. She was apprehended at the train station and was brought there within the hour. And what did the defendant say when you took her into the room where her father's body was lying? She said, I'm responsible. She said this three times. Not in response to any question. This was just something she volunteered. Yes, ma'am. She said it three times. Your witness. Detective Trevelyan, according to your precincts, led you were off duty at the time Mr. Choate's complaint was registered. I was driving my way home, had a radio on. Just so I have not picked up the call. As a homicide detective, do you make a habit of answering routine disturbing the peace call? <laughs> no. No, but I happen to be in the vicinity. And I am a police officer on and off duty. Your dispatcher didn't tell you that another unit was handling the call? I did not talk to the dispatcher. I just took the call. You familiar with the deceased? No, I was not. Had you ever been inside the Happy Dragon martial arts studio before that night? No. I ain't never seen a Happy Dragon. <laughs> According to the police report I got here, no fingerprints were taken from the murder scene. Wasn't called for. Isn't that somewhat irregular in a murder investigation? We had a suspect in custody, placed at the scene by witnesses, who spontaneously confessed to the crime. Confessed? Did she say I killed him? And I'm responsible. Did she say I killed him in so many words? No, she did not say I killed him in so many words. To say she was responsible could be interpreted in many ways. Wouldn't you agree? Well, that was my conclusion. The studio had been broken into. There was blood found on the door belonging to neither the victim nor the accused. Miss Johnson has testified she saw a man leave the building after the defendant, and yet you felt no need to further investigate because the person you could most conveniently arrest said, I'm responsible? No, 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 no. An investigation was initiated. Nothing conclusive was discovered. Detective, someone else was up there that night, weren't they? I saw no evidence of that. But you've got to realize that a crime of this nature amongst these people, not uncommon. Which people would those be, Lieutenant? The Vietnamese. I understand you served in Vietnam. That must be the source of your cultural expertise. Marines, wasn't it? Green Beret. Who's your commanding officer in Vietnam, Lieutenant? Objection, not relevant. Mr. Fowler? Maybe, maybe not. Answer the question, please. Yes, sir. Major Hollister. Major Abner Hollister, seated in this courtroom today. Yeah, you're right. You got that right. No further questions. Lieutenant, can we stand down? The court will recess until 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, at which time the defense will present its case.